Greetings, my active board people and friends. I just had to grab a green Jolly Rancher out of my mouth. I realized at the very last minute I cannot record and do Jolly Ranchers at the same time. Ick. All right. Have you ever been teaching on an active board and you something like this happened where you were wanting to write on your page, such as writing on this line right here, and you go there to begin to do so and you click and you accidentally have the select tool instead of the pen tool and this whole text box highlights and then you see all these object tools which would do nothing but confuse your students. Yeah, that is a pain. Um, I want to kind of give you a strategy to prevent these object tools from coming up. If you have an object on the page, whether it be a text box or an image, and you don't want these object tools to show up when you're teaching, one of the things that you can do is lock that object. So if you select the object, again with the select tool, which is this arrow over here, then you can click on this and you go under the menu and you choose locked. Now what's great about that is that now if you do accidentally um, while you're teaching, click on that object um, and you don't have your pen tool turned on, then you're not going to um, actually select it. And it also isn't going to move if you don't want it to move. Because in this page, um, this, for example, the grid, that is an object that you might be drawing on or you might be touching, but you don't want it to accidentally move around the page. So lock objects that are not intended to be moved or you don't ever want to see the object tools while you're teaching. Um, just a quick side note, if you are on a page with locked objects and you click on the object browser, and I'm just going to stretch it here, there is a column in there that shows you um, which objects on that page are locked. And if you needed to, another way to unlock them is to select them in your object browser and then there's this little pull down menu and you could unlock it if you needed to. Now, let's say you just needed to unlock it to temporary, temporarily, you wanted it locked, but let's say I wanted to shift this um, text box to the left. Well, I can't shift it to the left if it's locked, but I can always go into design mode because another thing that design mode does is it unlocks all the objects on the page while you're designing if you need to move them around a little bit. Go back into presentation mode and you'll see that it's a locked object again. Hey, last little thing that I wanted to share with you if you have not learned this uh, awesome trick yet is what's called a uh, drag a copy. Um, this is a perfect example of where um, you might want to create a single object um, like this red square with the shape tool and turn on drag a copy. Um, drag a copy is where you have a single option, excuse me, object, and you drag um, infinite number of copies off of that exact same object. So in this case, it's to help um, students to understand um, area. And so they could count the number of boxes that you drag off of here. Well, how did we do that? Well, it's easiest to show me if I go into design mode because another thing that design mode does is it turns off drag a copy as well as your actions. And so if you make a little box like this or any other object, you can always, again, go under the menu, same one that you go under to lock an object, and you could choose drag a copy. And if you do turn on drag a copy and you're in presentation mode, then you can get an infinite number of copies of that exact same object. Uh, toodaloo, back to my Jolly Rancher.